Well, if a person has 40-60 second breath holding time, that means this person can go on the fifth floor having pinched nose, and up there the person can release the nose and resume light easy breathing. So it would be probably clear that in physical terms the life is not difficult for such a person. Now, for more than people with heart disease, asthma, even cancer, diabetes, many other conditions, breath holding time is about 15 seconds. And if these people go only one floor up, you already can see, you can hear how heavy is the panting, breathing is gets heavy, the open mouth, and of course they normally complain about fatigue. Severely sick people who have only 5 seconds breath holding time, they are even more tired. Any physical exertion can cause disastrous consequences for them. They can have heart attack, asthma attack, they can even die. And for this reason they feel very, very weak. In the past 100 years ago, when people have this light, easy breathing pattern, ordinary meal, breakfast, lunch or supper would take about one, one and a half hour to be digested. Why? Because there is good supply of oxygen and blood for the digestive system. So that stomach, small intestine, liver, pancreas, they can produce enzymes, they can digest food very efficiently. Now when we hyperventilate, let's say people with various health problems who have about 15 seconds, 20 seconds breath holding time, they breathe two, three times heavier. And because of that, since CO2 level is less in the body, in blood and in cells, these people get less blood supply, perfusion of digestive organs, less oxygen supply. And what happens in most people, digestion time would be longer. In average, it takes about two, two and a half, three hours for a modern man to digest ordinary meat. If we go even to severely sick people, who have five, seven, ten seconds, many of them would take even longer time to digest the same meal, up to four, five hours. When healthy people get infection, cold, food poisoning and breath holding time is very short, breathing is heavy, we have fever. At this time we would not be able to digest the same meal efficiently. In fact, we would rather eat something small, maybe a glass of juice or some fruit, so that we can function well because big meal could stay in the stomach very long time, up to four, five, six hours. If a person eats big meal and start voluntarily hyperventilate, we can slow down digestion because of low blood supply and oxygen supply for digestive organs. At the opposite end, if we think about Hatha Yoga Master, people who had up to 3 minutes breath holding time, digestion can be very short, up down to 40-50 minutes for the ordinary meal. We are, for example, members of families, members of communities, of some sport clubs, maybe social clubs, cultural clubs. We, in addition, do some business jobs and all the time we perform. How breathing can relate to performance? Life has a meaning, a, a sense, when we can achieve something significant in life over a long period of time. When we have a certain goal which is far away and we are walking towards it day after day, trying to achieve. Be it, for example, raising a child. Achieving success in your job, making discoveries, be it a sport, music, culture, any other area, we need good performance. In order to achieve a goal which is far away, which takes months or years to get there, we need probably three things. First of all, we need to evaluate our own abilities, potentials. Who we are in the world and what are our abilities to grow, how far we can go in certain amount of time. Next one would be step number two. We need a plan so that day after day we follow our goal and Parameter number three would be so that day after day we can consistently walk towards this goal. So whatever the conditions, parameters, environment, we still would be going there. Normal breathing again due to its good effect on brain, on our energy level, creates conditions when achievement of this goal is possible. Now when we hyperventilate, first of all, we have problem in evaluating ourselves. Because our image in this world starts to fluctuate because we have so-called spontaneous antisynchronous. Our brain does not get enough blood supply. So we can't evaluate ourselves. That we think quite low about ourselves. Now at some other times we think high, we think that we are all powerful, we are all mighty, but the middle is somewhere in between. And when we hyperventilate, we always pass through this middle without noticing. Because hyperventilation naturally creates, for example, mood swings, depression, schizophrenia, other conditions, panics in human beings. Next, it's more difficult to evaluate the plan. We don't know how far we can go in conditions when breathing is heavy. Now, third goal, day after day to follow this plan is, of course, much more difficult. And if you think about sick people and severely sick people, they can do almost nothing in life because they fight with symptoms all the time. So, it makes sense then to conclude that performance would be a factor which definitely has a connection with breathing. So I put here next factor, performance. So 
So we can see here that the most fundamental parameters of quality of life has a direct relationship with breathing. And for this reason, it would be again great for any human being to have a lot of oxygen in the body, up to 60 seconds. And that would create conditions so that whatever your goals in life, you can achieve them with success.